We're going to understand the differences between window functions and group by because at the most basic level they're quite similar and it's super important for us to understand how both of them work and what we can get from uh, from them okay so let's go ahead and start this as i was saying you can use window functions to carry out aggregations on a specific window of data and we can define that uh, that window by using a reference to that current data now to better understand let's let's go ahead and first import uh, the spark session and then import all the things that we need as well as the window function from uh, PySpark SQL and then uh, create the app okay and now we can just create a very basic data frame that will consist of an ID, department, and salary. So we're gonna have different departments like sales, admin, and dev development, and we're gonna have a salary for each um, for for each employee in that department. And now we have this data frame with with an ID for each employee. We have the sales. We have admin and we have development as departments and then the salary for each one now a basic group by would basically take the data and every row would go only into one grouping so if we would run this we would group by department and then we're going to aggregate we're going to create the following aggregations we're going to first collect the list of salaries and this is something that I'm um, that I'm adding, just because uh, we want to see what actual data goes into the calculating the average and the sum. Okay, so if we run this, let's see what we get. So we get the average salary of four thousand two hundred and twenty, and in order to get the average salary, these are the salaries that were included in that calculation. Right. So basically all of the salaries for development 3400 5200 3700 and 2 4400 right and that leads to this average salary so as you can see this this group by what it does it basically takes all of the records and basically cal calculates the the salary the average salary and the total salary for that specific grouping which is by department for development for sales and admin so we have three records okay while a window function actually calculates a return value for pretty much every input row of that specific um, data frame right so let's go ahead and we can partition by just the department and then we're going to do the same things as we did with the group by method we're gonna first collect the list and then we're gonna do the average and then we're gonna do the sum okay over that specific window spec the window spec being the partition by department and let's see what we get in this scenario as you can see we have a return value for every row in that uh, in that data frame compared to just having a grouped by aggregation and because we partition by department and that was it basically we got the same results as we got with the group by just that we have them for each individual record this is the basic difference between group by and window functions is that the group by actually groups everything into one record while the window function creates uh, a return value for each record in that specific data frame and we can e even dive in a little bit further so another interesting thing that we can do with the window function we can order by a specific column and we can order it ascending or descending and here we're going to have the window spec ordered by the salary ascending and we're going to have the same um, the same columns and let's see what we get the list salary was ordered 
ascending by salary okay so we got 3400 being the the smallest so here we have 300 uh, 3400 and 3700 and then this is the average between these two and this is the total salary okay and then when we have 4400 we have all of these uh, we have the average of all of these and then we have also the total of all of these okay but if we look here we see that the total salary for uh, ID 2 and 3 is basically the same. And what, why is that? It's because we have a duplicate value here. We have 4,400 and 4,400 again. That means the order by ascending takes into account all values, even if they're like duplicates. Uh, let, let's actually see this. Yeah, let's see what we have. As I was saying, we have 3,400, 3,700, and two 4,400, correct? Now, this is for ID2, which is this one. So ID2 will be the same as ID3, you see? And this is not very helpful because basically, for a window function, this takes into account also, let's say, future values. And in order to make sure that we only see the rows up until that current row so we don't take into account possible duplicate values we need to pass in another uh, another method called rows between and we're going to do that here so we're partitioning by department and then we're ordering ascending by salary and then we're passing the rows between basically we have unbounded preceding up until the current row and if we run this let's check it out we can see that basically the second uh, the second ID here it only includes the the first value of 4400 and the third one includes the the next one so if we check the second row we get this okay we have up until 4400 but we don't include the like we had here we don't include both of them so we had this you see here we had both of them and here we only have the first and if we check the third now we're gonna have both of them because it actually takes every row up until that specific row okay so it only includes up until that current row it doesn't include all values that equal to that specific record okay so this is the difference when it comes to including rows between when it comes to calculating window functions let's move ahead and as you can see here we have the rows between unbounded preceding up until current row but for example if we want to do like a lag function where we just get the previous I don't know one or two records before the current row we can just simply pass in a minus one to get lagging values okay if we would want to get leading so anything that is above that we could just pass in one or two or three but if we want to go backwards we're just going to have to pass in a minus okay and if we run this and we have the window spec now if we do it we're only including the previous record in our window calculation for uh, row one we have 3400 and 3700 okay for row uh, for record number two we have 3700 and 4400 and all of these averages and sums are basically calculated just by including the uh, the previous record including uh, the current row and now i think you understood why i'm actually including this uh, collect list so that we understand perfectly what goes into calculating the averages and the sums and now another important thing that we that we, that we need to understand about these spark functions and when it comes to the types of aggregations that we can do with window functions the the average and the sum basically they are 
they're called aggregate functions. But for window functions, we have something even more interesting. We have basically the ranking functions. And these ranking functions are like uh, rank or dense rank or percent rank. So basically they rank our results based on their position when it comes to the whole window. So let's go ahead and run this so we see what we get. Since we ordered the sending, that means this uh, salary 3400 is in the 0% rank. So it's the smallest value found. And then the second one, which is 3700, is in the 25th percentile when it comes to that window of, of development uh, salaries. 